there. We want it to get glitchy. Uh, shit, where can I put this? All right. Go right about here. All right, paste it. Then go over one keyframe and go ahead and offset it. Like that. That's good. So now all I have to do is go down to this one. Uh, go over... You have to get the, there we go. That's the perfect spot. Go ahead and set a keyframe here. Go over one and then move this uh, to the right just a little. So what this is going to do is it's going to split them here. And what you can do is see these little boxes right here. You can go ahead and drag these. I'm going to drag this right to the end here so it splits over time. Check this out. It splits. Bam. Because what we're going to do is we're going to apply a red, green, blue split uh, to the text as well. So you can go ahead and drag these over here, like so. So now we're going to do the same exact thing with the text. Go ahead and copy, paste, copy, paste. And so those are offset nicely. Gonna go. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Save it as a preset. Go to color balance. This one's red. Just gonna save it as red, hit save. Then gonna go to here. This one is green. Gonna save it as green. And this one is blue, so I'm gonna save it as blue. So now these are stored right over here. All you have to do is drag them in. Red, green, blue. That's definitely a lot easier, huh? So then we're gonna go into track motion again. And then over, say, this much, we're gonna hit restore. And so they're going to come back together. And so, really, I mean, the key to this is just messing around with it, really creating that awesome uh, glitchy look that we're going for. We're going to do what we did before. Go ahead and split these, delete them, split it again, and then go ahead and delete the color balance. So, as you can see, they merge together. So this is good. Now, I remember when I said position or scaling, balance is what we need like to cover the whole entire screen this one it starts out big and it gets smaller over time we're gonna counter this by starting out small and getting bigger over time so we're gonna go all the way to the end here and bring it in like so so what this is gonna do is really make it look uh, pretty damn sick and that's the point of this whole tutorial so that's nice, that's really nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to finish it off by uh, waiting up to the four, I'd say the four second mark, and eh, maybe like three and a half, splitting it here, deleting that, coming into the effects, TV simulator. We're going to leave it at that, we're going to copy it, go up to three keyframes till the end, and then hit control V. So now it's going to stay the same all the way up to this point. Now we're going to go to the very end here, bring down the line sync a lot, so it gets really glitchy. You know, I'd, I'd even do it a little bit more. And then, to create that final, like, in-your-face, fuck yeah, kind of kind of look, we're going to zoom in really far. And that is sweet. I'm actually going to zoom out just a little so you can see that final uh, keyframe here. That's good. So now, um, I mean, personally, I wouldn't say it is done because it is not good until you have the uh, the sound. And for sounds, what I'm doing is uh, I'm using the Twitch plugin from Video Copilot, which has some nice sound effects. But you guys could just look up radio noise, um, hell glitchy sound effects, whatever you need to get the job done. Um, Google is an awesome resource for that. I would recommend buying stuff from Video Copilot. Andrew Kramer is the man. Uh, just go to videocopilot.net. These are some effects I've got. And I'm just going to bring them in here. Um, shouldn't take too long. Just going to see what this guy is. And uh, too long. 10 here, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So, 
I'm just looking for sound effects that kind of fit the uh, fit the vibe here. So let's go ahead and go to eight. All right, so we're getting pretty close to the end. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-render this for you guys. So that's good. I mean, what I'm pro what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap these two sound effects because this one's more abrupt with all the color changes and shit, and this one's more like a build-up, as you can see. And then, uh, to be honest, what you really want to do when you're adding sound, sound design is an unlimited topic. You can go on for hours about sound design. But look at your sounds, and look where the breaks are, or the high points. Right here, we have a transition, so we want a high point here. That's a big deal. Right here, we have another event. That's where the high point is there. Right here, we have that event, and then this one. They don't have to be perfect. This one is that event. So these are perfect, except for this one. This is a high point that doesn't have anything associated with it, so it's going to sound funky. Uh, we can go ahead and preview it here for you guys. But this is going to sound out of place, because everything is el else is synced up to the sound except for this one. It's thinking about it. Yeah. So as you can see, this one it's out of place. There's nothing going on right there. So to counter that, I'm just going to do a quick effect. Go ahead and split it right here. Go up. Let's make it. Let's make it uh, black and white. Make it 100% black and white. And then just the color change isn't enough to make the human eye recognize what's going on. So we're going to go into effects here. Go to TV Simulator. Drag this over to. And right here, we're going to make the line sync way down. So what it's going to do is it's going to get glitchy for a second and then even out. So that's everything's in sync now. we got an event here, an event here, an event here, an event here, and to finish it off, an event here. So sound design is important, and it's really going to top off your piece. If everything's synced up nicely, it's going to be awesome. So yeah, that's it. Um, all I can say, guys, is take what you've learned here, apply it in different ways, take this knowledge and create your own unique tutorial. I hate seeing people take tutorials word for word and putting it out. You should change it up a little bit. Um, send me a message, leave me a comment with your video. I really want to see what you guys did with this. See uh, you make one of your own. Uh, it's been a great working with you guys. Please subscribe and rate the video. Leave any comments below on future tutorials you want to see. Peace.